Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to do another hypothetical 2024 matchup. We've got Governor Jay Inslee of Washington for the Democrats going up against Governor Mike DeWine of Ohio for the Republicans. This was suggested to me in the comments, and this turned out to be a much more difficult matchup than I anticipated going in. So let's get started here. We'll talk a little bit more about it as we go. And at the end, first up, Mike DeWine is a little bit older. That could be something that ends up hurting him. And he's tried to walk a line between animating the Trump base as well as not alienating voters in the middle. Jay Inslee, he has a ton of political experience himself, both in Congress and as governor probably just a little bit less than Mike DeWine, but Inslee, I think, would be a strong candidate. I know he's big on the environment, and you don't hear a lot about Jay Inslee. He's a little bit more under the radar, but let's try to go through these states. We'll start in Alaska. That is going to be safe for DeWine. Hawaii, safe for Inslee. Now we go back up to the West Coast, Jay Inslee's home state of Washington. That will be overwhelmingly safe for Inslee. Oregon, California, also very safe for Inslee. Now we've got Nevada. This, I think, would go about one and a half to two points. Leans for Inslee. Idaho and Utah, safe for DeWine. How about Arizona? The classically Republican state has become a lot bluer in the last couple of cycles. Mike DeWine might be the guy to be able to pull it back to the Republican column, and I have it going to him by a tilt margin. Montana, Wyoming, safe for DeWine. Colorado, that'll hit double digits, safe for Inslee. New Mexico, that'll be mid-single digits, likely for Inslee. North and South Dakota, safe for DeWine. Nebraska at large, safe for DeWine. The second district, leans for Inslee. Kansas and Oklahoma, safe for DeWine. Let's go to Texas. Seems like this state frequently goes likely for the Republican, and that's what's going to happen this time, likely for DeWine. Minnesota, likely for Inslee. Iowa, likely for DeWine. Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, safe for DeWine. Now we can go up to Wisconsin. This is where things get tricky. We get into the Rust Belt. Mike DeWine is the governor of a Rust Belt state. Ohio is much more red than the rest of these states, but he won re-election by a landslide. Could that trickle down into a state like Wisconsin? Jay Inslee, I think he would do very well in the blue counties. Dane and Milwaukee, some of those Milwaukee suburbs trending toward the Democrats. He might continue those trends as well. So this is a very tough state, but Jay Inslee, he's from the West Coast. Mike DeWine is from a nearby state, but not a neighboring state. How much does the state proximity help? That's tough to say, but after a lot of back and forth, I settled on a tilt for DeWine. Illinois, safe for Inslee. Now let's go up to Michigan, and here we go again. It's another tough call. This state does border Ohio. It's probably a little bit bluer than Wisconsin, but maybe Mike DeWine is the guy to turn it red. It is close, but I did settle at a tilt for Inslee. Maybe it gets up to two or three for Inslee. Maybe Mike DeWine could flip it, but I kept it in the Democrats' column. Indiana, safe for DeWine. Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama, safe for DeWine. Let's go down to Florida. That'll be mid-single digits, likely for DeWine. Let's go one state north to Georgia. This is another state I sat on for a while. I'm trying to consider the trends in the suburbs, the turnout in the deep red counties. How well would Inslee connect with voters in Fulton County? This is not easy. And to make a long story short, I settled on a tilt for DeWine. South Carolina, safe for DeWine. North Carolina, leans for DeWine. Let's go up to Ohio, Mike DeWine's home state. Without him, it's usually a likely Republican state. With him, I think it would get over 10 points. Safe for DeWine. Let's go to neighboring West Virginia. That would be very safe for DeWine. Now let's go up to Maine at large. That'll be likely for Inslee. The first district, safe for Inslee. The second district, two and a half to three and a half points. Leans for DeWine. How about New Hampshire? This, I think, will go to Inslee. I'm not sure of the margin. I kept it at a lean. I was thinking about four to five points. Vermont, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C., safe for Inslee. Now let's go to Pennsylvania. Here's another one I sat on for a while. It borders Ohio. That could help Mike DeWine in the margins. Might drive up the turnout in the rural counties. But then the Philadelphia suburbs, Delaware, Montgomery, Chester, Bucks County, those I think are going to come out for Inslee. They've moved away from the Republicans there. I don't think Mike DeWine would animate those voters to come out and vote against him. But I think that would make it extremely close. I think Erie County would be up for grabs. DeWine could probably pull out a win there. But as always, that is going to be very close. So very close state. But in the end... I settled on a tilt for Mike DeWine, under one point for sure. And finally, the last state is Virginia, and that's going to be likely for Jay Inslee. Probably mid-single digits, five and a half to six and a half points. I don't think DeWine would get that down to Orleans. The D.C. suburbs, they would come out strong enough for Inslee. Unless the trends do change, I don't think it would be much of a challenge for Inslee. And there's your final map, and that comes out to 291 for Mike DeWine, 247 
for Jay Inslee. And Mike DeWine actually wins this selection. But this was a surprise to me because going into this off the top of my head, just quickly thinking Inslee versus DeWine, I thought Inslee would win this. It seems like he would get enough of the progressive base out and relate well enough to suburban voters and independents that Mike DeWine would not be able to win. I think Mike DeWine being older, that could end up hurting him. Some of the Trump base might be skeptical of DeWine at this point. But when it came to filling out the states, I was unable to give Jay Inslee some of these key states of Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Arizona. They're very close. They're tilt margins. So, of course, he could win it. I didn't want to just give it to him just to give it to him. I tried to think about it, and I just thought DeWine would be a little bit stronger in those states. But even if you give Inslee another one of these states, DeWine would still win it. So Inslee would need to get two of these states. And somehow this ended up being one of the more fascinating matchups I've done. I don't go in with a predetermined result, but on a glance, I thought Inslee would be stronger. It turns out this time, he's not as strong as I thought. But there's so many other factors, as I always say, that could swing these states another two or three points. The running mate, the national environment, the current issues at the time, how these two would run their campaigns. All those things could easily swing some of these states. DeWine is going to have to have some sort of populist economic appeal so he doesn't completely alienate the voters in the Rust Belt. Inslee is going to have to have more of a populist cultural appeal so he also doesn't alienate those voters. I don't think Inslee should go too hard on climate, social justice, or identity politics. That's going to drive away some voters. And I think DeWine is going to have to make a pitch to voters in the middle on abortion and guns. And that could be a challenge for him. So there's some different dynamics at play here. Very fascinating race. And I'm sure some of you will have some different opinions and say there's no way Inslee could lose this thing. So I get it. Let me know in the comments. Do you mostly agree with this map? And if not, what states would you change? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.